Uh, welcome back to Tip of the Week. This is part two of View Filters in Revit MEP. can also be used in structures and in architecture. Uh, what this will do, or what filters do, is something we used to do in AutoCAD, or may still do in AutoCAD, is you can separate things on different layers and separate them in different colors so visually you can tell the difference. In structures you may have your purlins one color, your joists another color, and your girders another color. Uh, just so visually you can tell the difference between them. Uh, in MEP, hot water, cold water, you want to separate them out. So uh, that's what we're expanding on here. Uh, video 1 talks about setting it up. This part 2 is going to get into a little bit more depth on getting uh, using the filters. Alright, so here we are back in uh, Revit MEP 2010 and we're going to talk a little bit more about filters. Uh, the last filter we put in was this other filter, and we set the color to something weird, so we're going to change that. Uh, back in the filter area, we'll go back and set this to maybe something solid. Thought it'd be fun to try something different, but eh, didn't work out too good. Now, I've got one other. Now, let's say I've got a few others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to delete that out. And I'm going to drag, let's say, this little object. Actually, I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to copy him, turn on multiple, and I'm going to drag him out a couple of times. So let's say I drag him from here and I drag on over and I'll say let's say uh, we'll go maybe six feet and then we'll go another maybe six feet and then maybe another six feet. Okay, so let's say we got three lines here, four lines, and I'm gonna put some pipes in now. Uh, one of the other things we can do at connectors, which is pretty slick, you can select it and then I can right click on it and hey, draw a pipe and I can actually draw a pipe right out from there. Uh, so we'll draw this pipe and you'll see as I draw it, since we're using that connector, it comes right off of it. Another tip is, uh, if I know I want to use a pipe type, I can just come here. Uh, I want to use, let's say, uh, whatever it is. Uh, grab this item. Okay, see we're using other right now. Uh, drop it to the one you want. I'll say, let's say, I think we got domestic hot set up for red. We'll pick on that. Uh, now, you really don't notice much, but what actually did, we changed the connector. So now when we draw the pipe, uh, we pull out of there, and you'll see it picks up. Um, okay, cancel there. Resulting angle between segments is too great. Well, that's not good. Let's try that again. Select it. Uh, right click on the grip. Draw a pipe. And we shall start to draw the pipe. And we'll go to about right there. Pick it. And you'll see that's a red one. So by setting these up uh, ahead of time, it's a matter of just bringing them in. I'll grab this one. Let's make it cold water. And all we're doing is changing connector types. These could be toilets. Um, but red, we just want to keep it simple. Uh, later on, we can go delete these. And when you delete them, as you'll see in a moment, once I draw this last pipe, pick on the connector, that's the trick, the connector itself, and they get small, that's kind of a pain. Alright, um, and you'll see us starting to draw that pipe. So as you move along, pipes are uh, do what they need to do. Now if I'm getting ready to change this out with a, let's say, a, a fitting, I can then take that connector and delete it. Notice the pipe turns back white again, uh, blank. And that's okay. Uh, we're using color to do two things, really, to, uh, while we're putting these little connectors in, we're doing it again for two things. Maybe just to uh, verify the pipe uh, color and you know what, what it is, what system type it is, and also to make sure that it's connected. As you connect to these, you'll notice that uh, they continue to, to follow the blue color. So it's a, it's a connectivity thing also. So that's looking pretty good. Now uh, what we want to do is we've got two others, and we'll actually come over here, and I'm going to take this guy, and sometimes you can change them. For instance, I can push this to other also, um, and you'll see I've got three others. Now let's say, for instance, we've got uh, maybe some different temperature waters, or we've got compressed air, natural gas, and maybe a vent line. Now if we go back to filters, I'm going to type in VV, you'll notice in here, under filters area, uh, we don't have any of those, and we don't even have any over here. Now within the style, or excuse me, within the types, there are only about six types you can choose from Revit, and that, that's it. You have no other types. That's where other comes in. So let's take a look at that. So I take this guy here, right, that, that object, and I drop the element properties down. Uh, this is another way to change it, but being that it has a name already, let's say for instance properties, I come in here, and you see it says other default, right? So we'll come back, grab it, let's go back to type properties. All right, not much in there. All right, well, that's got some stuff built in. And I'm just trying to show you where, where those are. Well, for the most part, they're in the family. So if we bust open the family, it's going to take a set, a second to do. I can pick on this object here. Uh, this is a connector. You, if you're in the family box, the electrical duct pipe, 
then you place one of these in here. Now once you place it, um, you have to give it some information. So it knows, is this the back of a toilet? Uh, is it a sink? And in here it comes down and it'll tell you. Uh, for instance, in this one, this is, is system other. So we have system type other. When we drop this down, you'll notice we have just a few. We have the hydronics, sanitary, domestics, and other. Fire protection, and then fitting and global. So we don't have anything that talks about natural gas, waste vent, storm drain, compressed air. So how do we deal with that? We're actually going to use something right below it, system name. Now it's not available in here, just system type. So you cancel, we'll close out of that. Okay, so that is how um, those families work. So we preset these. Now once we've selected it, once we go to elements, again we go to, let's say, instance properties, you'll see in here we also have system name. And it is also grayed out. So you're thinking, oh, how do I get this to work? Well, um, what we can do is, in here, as we create these, we, it's going to be a two-step process. We're going to create different systems. Okay, We're going we're to call them different names. Then we'll actually set the filters to color code them. So let's say, again, we've got a couple, and we're just going to make these a little bit longer. All right, now, we're just going to do maybe two of two different ones, and we'll be good to go. Now, how do we know what's it, where's all its system stuff located? Now we can go to view, and under the view you'll see user interface, and we drop this down. You'll see a little one in here. Um, let's see where it is. System browser. Now, system browser, you can also type in F9. That's function key 9. You can see it right underneath there. Um, I'll ping it. you see right there. Okay. Now turn it on, and it opens this thing up. Now you'll see in here we've got a few systems, right? And why aren't they showing up on the piping? Well, they're actually unassigned. So we can come in here, and we can start to drop these down. And you'll see we have a system marker. I'm actually going to have to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. I'll float it, which we can also do. We'll take a closer look at this here. Now, uh, when I open this up, we have the ability to come in here and, and tweak it. So I've got this other, 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 right? I have three systems in here. That's the three purples. And the three purples are other, other, other. Now I can select it, right-click, Properties. As you've probably figured out in Revit now, it's all about properties, right? Now, we come in here, and you'll see we have certain things in, in, in this setup. Let me hit Cancel. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at how to deal with the other types and subcategories. We have system types. Now we're going to look into using maybe the system name to organize these. Now, when I roll over this guy, you'll see it's purple. And this one's purple, and this one's purple. When I type in VV, you'll notice that when it comes up, we have filters, and it's just other. Now, uh, these are... We're using system types to organize this. Again, we want a natural gas. We want, let's say, waste, compressed air, all this other stuff. It's not listed. So how do we deal with that? Well, it's actually quite simple. We're going to create a subcategory under other. So to do that, what we're going to do is when we roll over this object and we select it, um, let's say we want to learn more about it. So we go to under elements, instance properties, and you'll see it's a member of a group, other, and then it's got system name, default other, CAD tech, something or another, right? So how do we get this to actually work the way we want? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a system. Now to create a system, uh, we select the mechanical object, and you'll see it comes up here and it says, okay, do you want to create a system? Yeah, I'll create one called, let's say, an other system. That's being what the part is consisting of. If it had many connections on here, you get the whole list. So I'm going to hit other, and it's going to come up and says, hey, okay. Uh, come over here and you'll see we have system selector other. Now at this point I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit edit system. Now this is going to give us the ability to go in here and really do some s nice things. For instance, let's use the system name of natural gas. Oop, try to click on that again. All right. Now natural gas and I'll say uh, add to system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this pipe, pipe set here, okay? and it's just been added to the system. Now let's hit finish system and what we've done is within this other, now I'm going to click on it again, you'll see there's a piece of pipe, let's click one down here just to verify. I click that piece of pipe and I go to elements. I go to instance properties and if all goes well you'll see it says system type other natural gas. Okay, pretty sweet. Let's uh, cancel out of that. Alright, now at this point we've got this one. And let's say we've got natural gas. Let's say this is uh, compressed air. We'll try something a little different. We're going to go through the same process. We select this little guy, uh, create a new system. When the new system is created, we're going to 
come up top here and edit this system. It comes up here and you'll see we have again system name. We're going to call this one. Uh, let's say we have natural gas compressed air. Oop. All right, let's try that again. We can also I'll hit add to system or I can hit system properties. Either one. Uh, system properties will also bring it up and see how we can name it. You have the other ones in here. What I'm going to do is come in here and call this one. Uh, let's say compressed air. And remember what you type here, uppercase and lowercase, because the filter is actually a pretty sensitive. So compressed air. All right, add to system. I pick that. All right, so that little piece is now picked. Now it doesn't highlight it as much as I'd like to, but hey, you do what you can. Uh, finish editing system. Now let's check that out. So I'll click on this one. Element properties, instance properties, and we find out that, see that one is other compressed air. Okay. Hit OK on that. We'll do one more. We'll do this little short one. Again, I pick on the connector, uh, create, a f in essence, a grouping of the objects. It's called a system. Uh, at this time, we can come up here and hit Edit System. We can give it a new name. And this one, we'll call it, say, Storm Drain. And at this point, we're going to add to the system. And we select the objects. Okay. So we add to the system, finish system. Now, let's just verify that this one's also been set up correctly. So grab the piece of pipe, uh, we go to Instance, and you'll see this one now says Storm Drain on the other. So now, what we did was, uh, first video talked about using direct connectors. This is talking about using connectors and then uh, defining the, the family, or just defining the system name underneath it. So uh, we have system type, system name. Last thing we'll do is type VV, and uh, we'll skip over that right now. VV filters and we're going to go to edit new. Now you'll see I have other. Now if I pick other it says go look for all the pipes, pipe fittings and pipe accessories that contain the system type other. Okay you saw they all turn purple. That works good. So now I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fire off duplicate and you'll see it says one, two, three. Now I've created three of them and I'm going to rename them now. Come over here, rename and we're going to call this one, well first of all compressed air and I hit OK on that. So now I have a compressed air filter. Rename it, and we're going to have one natural gas. And we hit OK on that. And then we click on this one, and again we rename it, and we're going to call this one Storm Drain. Hit OK on that. Now, uh, you'll see we use, by using the duplicate, it kind of preset everything for us, which is kind of nice. So now we're going to say System type contains, it actually says, or equals other, okay, and system name, I'll use the word contains, you can use either one, equals, and I'm going to say, now this is on storm drain, storm, S T O R M, um, and now we hit OK on that, so apply. So we create system type, now let's do this one for natural, and we'll, again, we're going to go to name equals natural and then uncompressed now I could type it all the way out uh, but I'm just doing it to save time and energy right now okay so we hit OK now we've created these new ones now if we hit add you'll see we have Compressed air, natural gas, and storm drain. Let's add them. Go. Dumps them in. Now, compressed air. I don't know it would be a good color for compressed air, but we'll try something that's different from the others. So, the compressed air will do a soft blue. Okay, on that. And we'll put the pattern to solid. So, that's kind of a baby blue. Natural gas. Um, we'll pick a deep, dark, maybe purple for that. Well, we're we'll using purple on the other. Let's go orange on that. We'll hit OK. Uh, set the pattern to orange. And then on the storm drain, I'll make that maybe green. We'll set the patterns. And within that, you see there's a lot of colors we could use. So now uh, we have this cyan, orange, and green. Now you'll notice for no smoke and mirrors, those are all purple. Now if all goes well, we hit OK or apply, uh, they should all recolor. Let's hit OK on that. And they did not. So great. So we got a little bit of a problem why they won't turn 
from purple. So let's type VV and let's take one more look back again. Now we take a look, we go to filters. Now one of the problems you may run into filters, as I can see now is, we have two that equal the same. For instance, other, if we take a look at that, that equals, see, other. And we also have this one that equals other. So what we need to do is we need to take the one out. Since we have both of them that equal, not good. Uh, so I remove this one. So now I only have these three that equal other. We hit OK. And notice how the pipes change. So uh, it's a query system, just like a database is driven. Uh, you can query by different information. And as you can see now, we can now set up. We have storm drain, we have compressed air, and we have, let's say, natural gas. So it's up to you on how you want to change these things. So as we go through, again, you can change the connectors. You can change the names of the families. And if you want to see more in depth, if you type in, let's say, F9, yeah, or go to user interface and you go to system browser. You can see in here we have different systems, right? So we have the compressed air system, natural gas, and storm drains. So since we created a system, uh, it organized them nice and neat. So there you go. Uh, that is filters in a nutshell. Hopefully that explains it. If you have any questions uh, or need training, give us a call. That is uh, freerevittraining.com. Thank you.